Hi, Farul, you're just joining us. Welcome back. Uh, you're just in time for the next conversation of the day. My name is Ram Aguko. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also live on our website at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. Engage with us as we talk about entrepreneurship. I had promised you earlier on, and as I always do, I always keep my promises. Today, we want to talk about having the right business mindset. Today, I'm joined by uh, Rachel uh, Wamboy. She is the MD of Blue Worlds Professionals. Rachel Kabusana, Karibusana. Thank you so much, Ram. You're well? Yes, I'm fantastic. You're looking good. Thank you. I, thank I, you, thank I, you. I, I, I love this kind of fashion. <laughs> <laughs> I chose right. <laughs> you, cho you, you chose right. I mentioned earlier before you came on there, and uh, yeah, let me, let me make it public. This, this, this is a nice, interesting uh, uh, fashion here. Uh, you should tell me your, your, your designer, and then you recommend those to many of the people, like in Elise, when you are Kopale Juko Gala. Elise, take notes, half a year. Have the right business mindset. And engage with us. The hashtag is why in the morning at Rama Google and at Y254 channel is where you can find us. Tell us what you think about this particular conversation that we shall have in having the right business mindset. Have you failed in your business because of lacking that mindset? What is what what mindset do you feel like if you had you would have succeeded in that business? And you know, for most people, they normally get to the age of uh, 40 or 50 or a particular age, and then they, they, they realize and then they wish, I wish I knew this when I was in my 20s. Having the right business mindset. Engage with us. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Maguko at Y254 channel is where you can find us. Uh, Rachel, uh, before we touch on... Uh, on, 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 before we get into the nitty gritties, tell us a bit more about the Blue uh, Worlds Professionals and what it's all about. All right, um, Blue World Professionals was inserted two years ago, mm -hmm. but the whole idea was really to put structures in the blue collar industry. Yeah. So today, Ram, for you to come to Y254, you brought in your CV. So from that, your employee is able to see this is where you've worked, this is the experience you've had, these are the schools you've gone to, but we lack that in the blue collar industry. Mm -hmm. Today, you want your mechanic or your plumber or things like that. How do you really tell that this one is qualified? Okay. So that's how we came in. So you, 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 you like do the investigation or... or yes. So mm -hmm. how we run it, mm -hmm. we want to see the qualification of where you've studied what you've studied, probably plumbing, the Tibet College and, and things like that. Um, we also want to see your experience. So mm -hmm. can I call Ram and verify that you've done plumbing in his house yeah. or in a certain project? Mm -hmm. That way I'm sure by the time I'm putting them up and mm -hmm. saying, get him as a plumber, mm -hmm. then you're sure that he will do the right job. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's how we came in. Mm -hmm. So now our low line fruit ended up being domestic workers. Mm -hmm. Your nanny, your housekeeper, your gardener, your, your caregiver and how we run it again, it's in the same way. Mm -hmm. We want to know where you worked before and we must talk to that client to, re to verify that, but also if you had any training. So once we realized there was also a gap of training, we came in and stepped in and polished up on training. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And furthermore, we now got to a place of understanding our client's need. Mm -hmm. So by the time you're coming on board, mm -hmm. we want to understand the nature of your home, we want mm -hmm. to understand how your home is run, you know, the nature of maybe you have twins or things like that, so that we match you with a worker who's had a similar experience. Uh -huh, yes. uh -huh. So um, if, 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 if a mother is looking for a nanny, um, you're the go-to person. You're the one who, uh, for example, uh, gives them that right individual based on the demands they have. Absolutely. And you train your people. You Absolutely. teach them that this is the right way to go. Absolutely. So when you come to us, the first thing we do, we want to understand your home. We want to understand the nature of your home, like I mentioned before. Mm. Probably the size of your home, the number of children, and the nature specific. Do you want, you know, someone who can make a six-course meal or things like that? 
So what happens is when you look at the profile of the workers that we have. All right. All right. Be, be, before you continue, let me cut it short. We want to check uh, something on that particular uh, uh, mic, but we want to take a short break as we do so. Remember the hashtag is why in the morning at Ramago at Y254 channel is where you can be able to find us. Uh, what do you think about uh, the right business mindset? What is it that you need to do to have that particular mindset? Engage with us. Let's take a short break. We'll be back in a bit. But keep tweeting and keep texting. This is Why in the Morning. All right, we're back with uh, this particular conversation on understanding, on having the right business mindset. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned earlier on today, I am with Rachel Wamboy, who is the MD at the Blue uh, World of Professionals. Uh, Rachel, before we went on that break, you're telling us a bit about what you do. Just to recapture, uh, because at some point, we look at just, uh, uh, you know, just come again with uh, what Blue World is all about. So Blue World Professionals um, was incepted to put structures in the blue collar industry. Mm -hmm. Like I mentioned, mm -hmm. how do you tell your plumber can really do a good plumbing job? Yes. Mm -hmm. And like the corporate structure, corporate sector that has structures, it's easy, you know, through referral experience, you know, the tertiary education probably you've gone to. Um, it's hard to have that in the industry today, mm -hmm. in the blue collar industry. So mm -hmm. we are here to put structures with our low lying fruit being the domestic workers. Mm -hmm. So the domestic mm -hmm. space is really where we have most queries. Mm -hmm. And how we do that again is really understanding the nature of your, of your home and the nature of help mm -hmm. that you need. Mm -hmm. Not all help is your help. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not all help is your help. Yeah. You, and, and, and you may think you, 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 you want something, but uh, you, you actually need something different. Now, you, you just need someone professional to advise you on what exactly you need to go for. Exactly. And so, so do you normally like visit? Uh, do, do you do home visits? Do you uh, um, uh, get uh, to do your, your due diligence on the ground? How do you get information so that you can be able to pick the right uh, person for your client? So how we do it? By the time a worker is applying to work with us, mm. we capture that information. So from their experience, we are able to tell. I brought up the issue of twins. Mm. So for example, if you've been a worker who's worked with twins, so you're more capable to go into work with a home that mm. has small twins, you mm. know. Mm. Um, but someone who's never taken care of children cannot be able to handle that. Mm -hmm. So how we match those two is by the time a client is coming on board, we ask certain questions. Mm -hmm. And from those questions, specific questions, we are able to understand the nature of help that they need. Uh -huh. So by uh -huh. looking at our profiles, we are able to see this help is best suited for you. Mm -hmm. If we don't have that, even if we have workers, we will, not, we will tell you we don't have a worker suitable for you. Wow. Yes. Wow. And, 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 and what are the, your core values as an institution that you are trying to promote, um, especially to your clientele? So what we are bringing on board is reliability, diligence, and professionalism, mm -hmm. which cu couples up with proficiency. Today, if, again, let's go back to our plumber. Mm -hmm. So our plumber has come, probably tells you, for example, I'll come and do the job for you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You're not even sure whether they'll report. If they get a better job somewhere, <laughs> mm -hmm. with a better they, pay. They even come in the evening. Uh, when the, the, the day is over, you know, where, where are you coming exactly, from? Exactly, exactly. So how we bring on board is that by the time we're telling you this worker can do this for you, mm -hmm. they are more likely going to do it. If we tell you they'll report on this particular day, they'll report. And if they come on time. They come on time. We are trying to bring a new mindset in this industry mm -hmm. to remove that mindset of they'll probably not perform or they'll probably not stay. That's why we are talking about reliability. Mm -hmm. You'll talk to clients who will say, in a year, I've probably had four or five girls. Why? They come in, they don't know what they want. So after two, three weeks or a month, they leave. But the, why do we have such kind of tendencies, especially when it comes to uh, for homeowners? You get one person, uh, you, after you've gotten that, that help, some even take day, two days, three days, they're gone. And they sometimes they even live with their own things. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good question. So actually, um, today, going back to our conversation with you working here, mm 
So you already know what you want here and you know for how long. So by the time you started working here, you already have a goal. You already have a structure. This is mm -hmm. what I want to achieve. Yeah. So you even know what you're bringing on board. Yes, yes. So even your bargaining power is different. Because you know, I, I know my value. Exactly. So that's the different mind. Now that's what we are bringing in. As we train them, we're also training them on, on soft skills. This is the value that you bring. This is what you're bringing to this family. So that they also understand that I'm bringing something that is important. You can mm -hmm. have goals. You can have um, goals that you can achieve. You know, you can say, I'll be in this home for the next three years. And from there, I'll be able to buy land, you know, in my village. Yeah. yeah so it yeah. changes the whole conversation. Mm -hmm. So by the time I'm coming to work for you, I already know I have something I'm planning to do. So I'll not come there for one or two days. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole difference. Mm -hmm. we are bringing into the market now, now i want us to talk about different scenarios uh, mm -hmm. as we talk about this particular mindset why do, but before we do that why do you feel like uh, um or, or what could be the reason as to why many youths actually end up losing some of the jobs they apply you you get apply for a job they lose it after a short period of time and some apply for jobs that they don't they, they may have the the the, the right qualifications on paper but they don't get it if you ask them why and then they, you know the the, the the employer say ah he, he, he's good on paper but meet the guy it's different why do you feel like what do you feel like youths need to do to be able to you know um, uh, make themselves better especially in the job market that's a that's an interesting question because um when we're talking about mindset of business, eh? mm. it's not just in the mindset, it's in the value systems that you represent. Mm. We've been sold a rich quick, get rich quick system. So I want to come be employed in the next two years I'm driving or I'm getting the six, seven digits. We have not trained our young people the values of resilience, mm -hmm. the values of working hard, yeah. the values of growing, you mm. know, even from, let's use chicken, you know, mm. your chicken will hatch on eggs. It will sit on eggs for 21 days in order to get the chicks. It's not ours and you get the chicks. Are you understanding? You, you know, nowadays we, are, we, we hear so much uh, 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 talk about how somebody made their millions in, uh, by the age of, age of 20. <laughs> you are 29 and you're wondering where your life is heading to. <laughs> <laughs> exactly and and it's uh, for for sure it's it's a dream <laughs> it's it's not real they say we need need, need different go ground go <laughs> ground we need different until you learn the science of resilience and yeah. allowing it to grow slowly mm -hmm. you'll never achieve anything in life because you'll start here and feel like it's not it's not working then you'll move to this you feel like it's not working mm. then you feel like you know you need to move to this you need you need to sit with one thing and let it grow and, 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 and is that how startups make uh, you know fail you st today someone has started a kinyozi tomorrow they have started a restaurant yes. the next day they have started a salon <laughs> yeah. the other day they have started a car wash and then you are you a jack of all trades <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's basically the problem we have with many startups. You don't want to go through the process and learn and pick the lessons from it and grow. Wow. That is just a starting point. Is, why do we have so many um, tendencies of, of, of people exchanging nannies? Because um, is, is it the same, same thing that is, 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 we are talking about here? Someone gets a nanny today. Because after after one week they want they, they want another one after an, another week another one needs to come and if, if you look on the ground many Kenyans are so so disgusted with the nannies that they start making calls to their fellow uh, relatives <laughs> yeah. that ukona nani but then give, give me your daughter <laughs> true 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 so the first thing we talked about was understanding your home yes and getting the need the right help for your home. Mm. So if, they are frust if there is a frustrated employer, there is also a frustrated employee. It mm -hmm. goes both ways. Mm -hmm. You'll never find, you know, a comfortable employer saying, I have the best worker and the girl is grumpy. Is it about having that 
business mindset there? Because uh, as an employer, mm -hmm. is that mindset of business, because it is business. Yeah. As an employee also, there's that mindset of business Yeah, also. yeah. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the home, it's different need. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like putting a spare of a Toyota in a Nissan. It will not work. Oh my. It will not work. <laughs> it it, will it work. may work for a day or two, but it won't work. <laughs> I do. I do it, yeah. It, will it even work for a day? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt too. It won't. Yeah. yeah. So we need to change our mindsets when it comes to uh, uh, understanding each other. True, true, true. And um, how best can uh, uh, somebody who is uh, getting into a business try to, uh, uh, you know, be elastic? how can they prepare themselves you know mentally that you know such a thing is uh, is going to happen and it may not always work the way I, I i want it but at the end of the day i need to be consistent with what i want so let me first uh, bust a bubble okay. it doesn't matter whether you've done it to phd you've done business administration you've done <laughs> okay when you get to business uh -huh. you have to shelf all that masomo ekakando Kabisa, because it's, you know, it's like learning to swim from a book. You <laughs> have to learn it in business. Practically. Absolutely. And I think that's the one thing that I wish I learned earlier. What does that? I wish I knew that I needed help and I needed to learn. Never enter into the market thinking that I know what the market wants mm -hmm. or I know this is my business and this is the way it will run. Mm -hmm. You can't enter business with that kind of mindset. You must allow yourself to learn right from the word go. And, and, and many get into business and they, they, they do it because the, they feel like, no, I know this and they would not want anyone to correct them. Sometimes they want to start a business and if someone tells them that uh, these are wrong business, they'll be like, no, I think you just know you are not supporting my ideas. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Yes, in fact. Th that mindset. <laughs> yeah, I was uh, in a training um, last, last week. It's called Business Monday Club. Mm -hmm. And one speaker said, you're the person that's spoiling your business. You're the one person ah. hindering your business to grow. Mm -hmm. You're the one person standing in the way of your business. You're your grow. own enemy. <laughs> exactly. Because of your mindset. It's that, you know. Um, this is the product that I want to push into the market and you push it and you push it you're not considering the market you're not asking does the market need this does the market require this mm -hmm. is this what um, I can tell you for sure by the time we are starting this is not what we intended to do really? domestic care is not the space we were really heading uh, in that oh, direction can you, can, you, can, you, can you reveal to me or to us to me, <laughs> what were you planning to do when you started we we were starting with um basically other other areas not domestic workers so mm. our first initial um workers were drivers and plumbers what? and painters but okay. it's yeah um i wanted a driver but can i get a nanny i want a nanny i want a housekeeper can i get mm. them today or they mm. call today my nanny has just left can i get one right now <laughs> wow. so you just have to allow the market to shape itself so, so, so you adapted you have to you have to any business that grows or stands the storms of even covid mm -hmm. you just have to allow the market to shape it but, but but at the end of the day how do you adapt and still maintain your brand because adapting mm -hmm. can affect your brand absolutely um the first thing you should know is that you as an individual mm -hmm. you as an individual is learning you, you see you nothing is cast on stones today we look at the major brands major major brands that you know today including safari Ecom. look at the way they've moved year in year out mm -hmm. yet the brand is still the same yeah they bring new products they cross market other products yet still remain as a brand yet yes, there are yes, other yes. in the same space mm -hmm. that are not doing what they're doing so you just have to learn the skill of keeping your brand as you move to new markets mm -hmm. and move as the market shapes you. Yeah. And that is what many people actually fail to yes. uh, understand. Yeah. At some point you need to adapt. The way you start a business might, might not actually be the way you'll end it. 
Exactly. Come COVID, mm. most businesses closed. Why? Because they were not able to shift when the market shift shifted. Mm -hmm. You you should be able to in fact um there was a time I had um Mwangi, James Mwangi say, mm -hmm. for you to survive in the market today, mm -hmm. you must acquire the mindset of a startup. So you must be willing to start all over again. A new product. Mm -hmm. Today we are learning something new and we are starting something new. Yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah. I, I, I'm, is is it lack of a proper mindset that you had many business close because of COVID? True, true. Proper mindset and lack of structures to help it navigate. You know, mm -hmm. we can look at from startups, get a mentor, get someone who's ahead of you. Mm -hmm. And they're all around. There are institutions that help uh, startups in training. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that's, that's the basic foundation of any how, startup. How can uh, um, business people improve their rate of dependability? And how do we uh, how can we change the mindset that we have so that people can always know that they can count on us that they can depend on us because at the end of the day i'm looking at the business that you're that, that you're doing many people even end up saying ah i don't trust nannies i cannot depend on a nanny mm. how can we change that narrative i think to answer that i must be able to first address one thing mm -hmm. there's no business without a person people don't trust really the brand at the end of the day is a mm -hmm. person behind the brand the brand yeah yeah yeah, yeah. True. so how are you able to carry yourself how are you able to front today again let's go back to to safaricom i know if i had an issue i can call you know the um, customer care mm -hmm. and probably air yeah, my my situation you know if i have an issue with the brand or with a product mm -hmm. so how is it that you're able to handle issues with customers when there's an issue when you're marketing are you able to follow through because customers know they will know you're selling this and you're giving this so at the end of the day it boils down to you how are you able to portray that? How are you able to yeah, yeah, bring yeah. it to the market? As an individual. As an individual. It starts first as an individual before it gets into the brand. Yes, exactly. Exactly. But is there, is there a way that uh, uh, a Kenyan youth can be able to uh, establish themselves so that they can uh, uh, be, 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 be swift with the market changes? That now that the market requires this, they are shifting to that particular area. Now that the market requires that, they are shifting to that also particular area. But still, at the same time, they are dependable in both sides. Mm. Uh, both mm. sets. Mm. Is it achievable? Yes. Not only can they, they should in order to survive. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to survive. You must be able to know how to navigate that and still remain in your core. What is the right mindset when it comes to proficiency? I don't know. Teach me. That's the right mindset. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, what I told you? <laughs> you thought I was answering, I was answering, yeah, I don't yeah, know. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the answer. I don't that's know. the answer? Yes, I don't know, teach me. I don't know, teach me. I don't me. know, teach me. Even if you know? Even if you, you see, in order for you to learn, you must first keep aside what you know. Make room yeah. for new. And that's the thing I wish I learned. Earlier. When you were twenty, when you, when you, when you in your twenties. Imagine in my twenties. I don't know. Teach me. I don't know. Teach me. But this is the time now I'm pursuing but, knowledge. But we are too proud. Youth are too proud to, to to say that they don't know. Yeah. They want to appear as if they do know. Yet they are messing up and they are going at a loss. True. 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 Until the day you decide, you know what? I don't know. I need help. I don't know. And even if you know, you can still learn more. Mm -hmm. Even if you know, you can still learn more. Learn your industry. Learn, learn who are the shakers in your industry. Uh -huh. Learn who, who are moving the industry. What is it that they do? Can you study it? Can you, can you hunger for, you know, for knowledge and in your space to the extent that you're hunting people who are in that space? Mm -hmm. That's the right mindset. I don't know. Teach, Teach me. me. Let's look at that particular aspect. Mm -hmm. Teach me. Mm -hmm. Financial literacy. Mm -hmm. It's very important. Very important. How can you improve it? F to begin with, you must get institutions that are doing that. Right mm -hmm. now, it's, you know, banks are doing it. 
um, there are certain institutions that are doing it because if you get it wrong in your finances, mm -hmm. then there's nothing you're doing. Yeah. To begin with, because as a startup, the, the biggest problems we have, you know, financial literacy, you cannot separate your money from the business money. Mm. So at the end of the day, when you begin to mix it, you're not able to see the growth. You're not able to set aside money for growth of a business. So it becomes a whole mess. There's no institution that can trust you with finances, you know, mm -hmm. as far as debt is concerned, or even an investor stepping on board mm -hmm. to buy equity and things like the, that. The, you, know, you, you know, there was a time I, I, I was doing a, a particular business, mm -hmm. and then I was finding it difficult to know this money, is it money from the business or is it my money? <laughs> It, it, it became a problem and yeah. confusing yeah. and I would take hours and hours with a pen and paper and calculator <laughs> trying to find out and I would still hit a wall yeah. and I wouldn't understand if I say talk about maybe a shara man yang. Is that, uh, it, what, what could be the reason as to why we have people uh, go through such kind of scenarios where you end up mixing your money uh, with the business money and sometimes even remove money from your own pocket to fund the business. Yeah, yeah. Because now when you're not able to separate, the, you'll be hemorrhaging funds from the business. Mm. So the most important thing is to put different structures for your money. So if, for yeah. example, you're in business, mm -hmm. we have simple things as till numbers, you know, where mm -hmm. you can set your till number to be going to your account, which yeah. you have no access through M-Pesa or an ATM card. Mm. You can only go to the shelf. You know, mm -hmm. so it gives you a certain discipline to know this is business money and I can mm -hmm. only access it when the business needs money. Mm -hmm. And if I need to take money from this, I'm either taking it as a salary or, um, you know, um, a certain percentage of it to give yourself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And for, for, for how long? Because mm -hmm. uh, um, for many startups, they struggle when it comes to capital. Mm -hmm. For how long are you supposed to be funding your business to uh, keep it afloat so till that time when it can be able to stand on its own? And how was it for you when you started? I think before we go to you funding the business, you must look at how viable your business is mm -hmm. in the business model. It's okay. so easy for you to run around and run a business, but at the end of the day, when you're going home, your, your, your pocket is empty. Yeah. So you yeah. must have, is, is your business scalable? So is it, can I take an egg from here and buy it at five shillings and sell it at 10 shillings? Mm -hmm. So before everything else, can I know what I'm doing is actually giving me money? Mm -hmm. Because chances are, if you're still funding it, is because you're just, you know, putting money from one bag to another. Really, it's circulating there. It's just circulating and you're not making any profits. So ask yourself, am I making any profits from this? And that's where now you come to the place of saying, you know, I close shop. Maybe I shouldn't sell eggs. I should mm. sell skumawiki, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And that's the mindset again we are seeing. Because sometimes you feel I've invested so much in my egg business. I've invested so much. I've done it for one year. What, what are five years? What are you telling me? I close shop and I'll start selling skumawiki. Mm. Yeah. How is it for you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still learning. <laughs> Still I'm, I'm still learning, but I can tell you for sure, it was not easy. In the sense, you have invested in probably training workers. Yeah. And something happens. So they, they are not able to repay for the training. When you place them, probably there's an emergency at home. Mm. So what happens? You can't tell them, no, you have to stay and work because I've invested in you. The client has yeah, already paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, you can't. you can't. Human beings are di dynamic. You know, things happen. Things change. It, 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 it must be difficult. It is difficult. Uh, uh, Who uh, said business is easy? It's uh, not easy. And, uh, I asked you this question uh, 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 when you are off air. <laughs> are there those days that you just wake up in the morning and you go back in the evening after a long day without getting pissed off any 24 hours passes without you getting angry Im uh, because of impossible the it's impossible <laughs> <laughs> it's Very impossible busy. it's it's impossible you know um and that's why i was saying you can't learn it from a book 
you have to get in, get your hands dirty and realize it's not easy. <laughs> Having the right business mindset. Absolutely. No business is easy. No business, exactly. And you see, that's the problem we have. You see, I'll see, um, so today I'm doing my nannies. I come and I meet Ram. Mm. Ram is a farmer. So mm. I'm like, no, I'm leaving this. And I think Ram seems like he's doing it. Um, he's making it in life. So I mm. want to move. Mm. And I don't know for you to get there. You've had years of learning. Years of making mistakes. Because mm. I can tell you for sure, for sure, without a shadow of doubt, when you start a business, you must make mistakes. <laughs> <laughs> you must. You know, you know one, one thing that moves me is always, you know, seeing many, many uh, youths outside there. Uh, they ask each other, um, business guy in a, in, in a pesa? <laughs> you know, that's the question. Yes. The guy in a pesa. Mm. And, and, and we, we want to go for that. Um, I, I later on, came to learn that there is no particular business that makes more money than the other. It depends on how you handle it. Exactly. Exactly. It's like farming, you know. You want to plant seeds and go. Uh. And you want to be the same with, you know, with XYZ who is by the, by the chamber, watering mm -hmm. every morning, every evening. Mm -hmm. And you're like, so you leave your business because you want to be like that one and you don't know the work they've put in. Right mindset. Yes, absolutely. Uh, just give us, just in, in brief, just uh, in, in a nutshell, mm -hmm. to mention a few. Some of the milestones that you've managed to hit since you started uh, Blue Work Professionals until to date. My biggest milestones, I think, for me, it's not even in the numbers. Mm -hmm. It's in the fact that my girl can tell me I'm now able to pay school fees for my children. Wow. That is the reason why I do what I do. That keeps me going. You remember those angry days? Mm -hmm. That keeps me going. I'm now able to pay rent. I'm now able to, you know, they tell me I, I've bought land in the village. Those I girls that you, you have with you? Yes. I had a girl who had an Uber. I don't have an Uber. <laughs> They've invested over years. Of course, they, they, they had started before they joined us. But point is that people are very focused. Because I said, listen... If on average, most of our girls really are earning 15, 12 to 15,000 mm -hmm. and you're not paying rent and probably, you know, you're not, you don't have many expenses, mm -hmm. chances are that money is as good as maybe who? Someone who's earning 25,000 who's paying rent, who's paying bus fare, who's paying food, who's buying food. Mm -hmm. So if, they, if you teach them how to value the little money, yeah, they achieve yeah. so much, so, so much. And then you, you, how do you work to um, you know, change the mindset of, of these girls that you have? Because not all of them are, are goal-oriented. Not all of them know what they want. Some are, are confused. They just need to, 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 to some money so that they can put food on the table. Yeah. And that's all they want. Yeah. At least they can get a hundred shillings mm. to buy some skuma wiki, mm. put food on the table, and then mambea kesho, watangalea badai. How do you change that mindset of the girls you are with? Through training. Through training and through showing them others who have achieved that. So by wow. training, repetition is the mother of invention. Mm. You know? is the mother of learning repetition is the mother so keeping you know reminding them you have a goal remember you want to, once you even motivate them and tell them do you want your children to really go through what you've gone through do you want them to have a better life mm -hmm. so we're even having talks now with a certain circle where they mm -hmm. can be members to gain wow. you know um borrowing power in mm -hmm. order for them to achieve much more mm -hmm. so that we can we are changing lives through this program mm -hmm. so that's now the bigger picture Mm -hmm. So yes, I may have worked as a housekeeper for 10 years, mm. but this is now what I'm able to achieve. I, 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 and of course, they are protected mm. um, against any form of harm that might, might uh, go upon them when they are on the field. Yes, yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. We have contracts and things like that where we work to make sure that the, the places that they are in, they're also safe. We mm -hmm. also vet the, the clients. They don't know that, but we vet. By the time we're interacting with you, we want to know how you've interacted with other workers because we take care of our workers as well. Wow. Yes. Wow. It's all about understanding, having the right business mindset. Yeah. Um, uh, I want us to bring this conversation to a close mm -hmm. because remember, what time is it on our side? Okay. Um, I, to, to wrap it all up, um, what would be your final word? That take note that the take home that uh, you want to give to that Kenyan youth who is watching you today about having the right business mindset that's your camera you can speak to them all right 
So I'll say two things. One, what I mentioned earlier, going to eat with a mindset of I don't know, teach me. Find help. There are people who can guide you. There are people who can show you how to do business. Second thing, going for learning. Don't just go in to make money. And go in knowing that I'm, I'm sticking to this, whether it's hard, whether it's easy, whether it's, and it will take everything in you <laughs> to do it. But make sure that your mindset is I'm here to stay and I'm not quitting this until I make it. Wow. Yes. And if someone is looking for nanny, get in touch with these guys. Yes. If you're looking also for a job, get yeah. in touch with us. Looking yes. for jo also, also jobs? Yes. Any kind of job? Mostly housekeepers, um, nannies, those mm. are most requested. Yes. Oh, they're, they're, those are the most requested. Yes. So how you, can people get a hold of you? So for we have a number, 0721-937-038. Come you, again. And you write a message, not call. Mm -hmm. 0721 937 So if you're looking for, for a job, mm -hmm. get in touch with us. If you're looking for a nanny, get in touch. And now she's too high. <laughs> yes. It's been a nudes. I know, I know. Hi. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> so annoying. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and they get angry. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, thank you so much, Rachel, for, for, for coming. Thank you for having me. That is Rachel Aboy, uh, the MD at uh, Blue World the Professional, uh, giving us her take. And, you know, of course, her experience when it comes to the business uh, sector, having the right mindset. Have you learned something? I sure have. My name is Ram Maguko. We've come to the end of today's morning show. Thank you so much for being part of this uh, program from the beginning now till the tail end. Uh, we are on behalf of everyone who ensured this show was a success. May God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. This is why in the morning. Have a good day.